What's up, guys? This is Crow1176. How's everybody doing? Okay, so I've been getting a lot of emails about um, <clears throat> the CJ8, how much MBA I can uh, take. Uh, the reason why is because a lot and a lot, and thank you so much, God, for this and stuff. But um, yeah, a lot of churches have been hitting me up. I've been doing a lot of churches recently and, you know, around town here and I help out other people in Chicago. Um, I've done one to, um, to Detroit, um, a couple, a couple in Carolina. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of people with 300 inch screens or, or 200 inch screens and they want to know what's the best and stuff like that they usually at church they usually use 5,000 lumens uh, everybody that I've gotten from different churches have been using 5,000 lumens 26 feet back 16 feet back 15 feet back you know stuff like that so right now I have my projector and I have it 16 feet back um, as you can see it's you know, I can make it bigger, whatever. It's up to you. That's why I say when you go, try to get the projector for... This is it good advice for all you churches out there that are trying to get the best picture and to get the most lumens out of your projector. Um, try to get your projector as close as you can and then just zoom out if you have the Epson. You know, you can zoom out and hopefully you get the best, um, more lumens hitting it instead of you know less and stuff like that but yeah I'm actually 16 feet back all the way back okay so I'm 16 feet um, I do have these panel lights right here they are 7,000 lumens versus a 4200 lumen projector here so 7,000 lumens panel lights as you can see it is bright I mean it is it is bright and I just wanted to show you see look look how bright it is okay I'll show you real quick I just want to show you how bright it is all right I'll pause it there all right look that's how bright it is all right and that's why I like to do these these demonstrations here here I'll close the door I mean I only have my regular light in the pack but I'll turn it off so you can see it and see my room is dark all right but that's how that's that's the picture right there with the dark tones and all that good stuff but if I turn this on all right there you go and I wanted to show you like this because um, I want I, I want to show you some dark images like right now where it's see how much uh, detail is going to be missing or how much is going to wash out or stuff like that. You know, the color is going to be dimmed or, or the whites are going to be off or, or anything like that. All right. So I just want to give you kind of an idea of what you're getting when you order the CG8 or you can order the Frankenstein. Those right now are just, I, I keep mixing and mixing and mixing and, you know, they like I'm almost out. I gotta order a new badge from work and stuff like that so I could keep up because you know I usually order like five gallons of each mix and little um, um, quarts of different uh, paint mixes and um, metallics and you know silvers and aluminums and all that stuff so I could keep here and mix whatever I need in the fly but I'm running out because those two are like being my number one seller now you know and I want to thank you guys for that so here you go man I'll show you let's see so we're looking if if, if you're gonna get any like I said if you're gonna miss any detail like you can see the hallway back there you know how much washout and I mean 7,000 lumens is pretty bright guys I already showed you it's it is bright I'm not putting 100 watts and you know aiming it down the, the floor like that I'm not gonna do that but check this out guys if you want me to put it closer I will so more lumens could hit the screen 
can see right at the screen here. There you go. Don't do that to me. Oh, there you go. All right. But it is better if I go back here so the whole room could be lit up. But also guys, <clears throat> I do recommend if you're using it in the church, try to put the, the screens where, you know, light's not going to be hitting them directly from above. Because if you put a light down below, you know, like a um, housing or anything just coming down with light hitting the screen, of course it's going to wash out. It doesn't matter what you have. You can have $2,000 screen, you can have whatever, it's still going to wash out a little bit. You're going to see the light reflecting from that screen. So, just try to accommodate the screen, you know, put it in an area where there's not so much light. That's what I'm trying to say. And, um, you should be fine. You should be good to go. But, but there you go, guys. I mean, if you're in church and you're watching this and it's not washing out as much from 16 feet back with 4200 lumens and you guys have 5000 lumens you know but also I don't know a lot of people are using JVC's they're using just different kind of projectors but um, I, I do recommend 100% like um, Epson's man a lot of people are asking me we're gonna upgrade what do you think I would jump on an Epson I mean that the, they just like the white brightness i mean it has a bright contrast it everything's just good and for church i think it'll be perfect and yes they are 5000 lumens they have 4500 lumens they do you know uh, they are going to be 720p the ones i've seen um those are you know kind of affordable uh if you want to go full 1080 they're a little bit more expensive, but I mean, you're just going to be using them maybe three, four times a week. So it's really up to you, to you what your budget is. But there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you what the CGA could do with 7,000 um, lumens hitting it of light. Watch, I'll show you the difference. You see the difference now? Even if, if if you have light like that, right? See what I mean? When you got light back here, but nothing's hitting the screen back there, and you're gonna get these awesome images. See that? 16 feet back, guys. Here, I'll put the screen a little bit bigger so you guys can check it out. What I'm talking about, right? So, there you go. All right, watch the corners. Wash out, wash out, wash out. So there you go, man. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Uh, I'll make a video, help you guys out, and um, and yes, and and once again, thank you, thank you so much for um, you know buying my product and you know getting it out there and 
I appreciate the business. I do from my heart. Thank you so much. All right. Um, yeah, this is the CGA guys. I also have the Frankenstein. Uh, the Frankenstein. Uh, it's uh, trust me, CGA and the Frankenstein. The the tones of the color uh, is totally different. Like totally different night and day. So it's not the same. Okay. Um, I'll do a comparison on both, so you can check it out. But uh, yeah, if you think they're the same color, they're not. Not even close. All right. Um, this one I try to replicate for a customer. I don't know if you guys know. I did it a while back. I try to replicate it with the Cinegray 5D. You know, and the Frankenstein is just. It's just one of my mixes that I came up with, um, and the way that that I wanted something in between the H, uh, HD Cinema Black and Cross Metallic Mix, and that's what it came out to. And it has really good ambient light rejection, just like this one, kind of. You know, it's not gonna wash out as much. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, this is a lot of light, guys. So, just want to show you some darker images, color images, and stuff like that. Alright, this was Crow. Thank you so much for watching. Again, the light is just hitting directly. Here, I'll, I'll try to get it as close, high as I can. Look. I'm probably like six feet away from it now, so.